grip till one handed grip. Okay, so I've locked in, I've locked in this position here. Yeah, it's controlling my back, it's controlling my hips, so I can't get anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this hand, yeah, and I'm going to switch to a one handed grip on the palm. Okay, this guy now might not feel like there's an awful lot of control, but from here, he can't escape this one grip. I'm pretty sure he can. It just goes with it. Because I'm holding onto the outside of his hand, yeah, onto his little finger there, I'm pretty sure he can't escape it. If I try to hold onto his wrist and escape it without even trying, yeah, but I'm in this position here. Now, one thing you will find when you, when you start looking at Kimura positions on people, what do they always do? Yeah, always brings it inside so I can't complete it. So this is perfect. So it's really falling into my trap. It's stopping my hips. It's brought this inside. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm just going to, if you need to use a little bit of momentum, I'm just going to flick my leg up a little bit just so I get onto my elbow. From elbow, I can hit the position from here if I want to, or I can actually get right up onto my hand, yeah? But from here, I, I quite like elbow. So what I'm going to do is I just move my hips into a little bit more. I know he's going to give me some pressure trying to drive me back down. So then I'm just going to do this. Feet on the mat, lift. And just roll straight up on top. Notice I've still got this grip. Yeah? So, I'm flat in my position here. By curling this in and lifting here, Tap. you've got a one-handed kimura. Yeah? Or I can settle in. So a nice favourable side control position for me. But yeah, I'm not letting go of this hand, there's no need for 